What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your man Scott and welcome back to another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight video. What we're looking at here man is a park uh, called Quickie Park. I think that's what it's called but it was spelled funny. But Quickie Park. Created by Quickie Scope 78YT. Um, but yeah, I wanted to take a look at this park because this, this guy said that uh, this park was built with no DLC. So, I wanted to check it out and see um, how true that is, man. Let's check them out. Let's go on, on in. Alright, guys. Let's get on in here on this tour of Quickie Park. Uh, a crazy, realistic park. No DLC. Like the thumbnail say. Um, yeah, you can tell this park is, is getting prepared for a PS5, you know. You already see he got some rides that he got in mind right there already, probably. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, I like all the foliage coming in when you first coming on in right here. Smell, I bet it smell like a, a fresh garden right here. Grandma's backyard right here. Uh-huh. So we're going to go on in. First thing you see coming on in, you see the castle, man. I like, man, I like how he dug all this out, though. But he dug all that out, and that, uh, and that coaster goes all through it. And that's insane. Can't wait to get on that thing. All right, so let's get on on this tour right here, man, and see what's going on uh, with the Quickie Park. Yeah, you can tell, man, this this creator uh, is preparing this park for a PS5, man. He got a whole lot of incomplete stuff in the front, and I could just, I could, can't just imagine what he, he's got getting ready to do with it if you get a PS5 and continue this part. All right, so, um, so look, he got another ride entrance right here. Yeah. Ran out of space there, huh, fella? Yep. Trying to get that PS5. I feel you, man. I feel you. All right, but let's get on here and get on up in here. Oh, see, he got his name right here. Quickie Scope 78. So that's what we're gonna call this part today, the Quickie Scope 78 part. Okay. Come in, got the carousel right there. All right, I like that, I like that. I don't know which way to go, man. See, now this funny, man. You know, they always be having a debate about which way to go on this game when they do spotlights, you know what I'm saying? So although I, I guess, like I said, I guess, oh, I'm gonna go this way, I'm gonna go right. You know what I'm saying? All right, we're going to go right on this side, man. Got the ATM machines over here with the... I see a lot of people uh, decorate these little vending machines with that little topiary arch right there and them lights. They don't look bad. I like it, though. All right. Okay, that's how you get on the carousel right here. Okay, all right. All right, let's go ahead and enter into the castle, man. I know one, I took to tell you one thing, though. Uh, ain't nothing flat about this part, boy. Not a thing. Let's go on into the castle. Everybody coming out with the crown hats, looking like they just came from Burger King. You know what I'm saying? Man, this is this is beautiful, man. I gotta say, you got castles everywhere, man. Like, is that a ride? That's a ride over there. And this park, now mind, mind you, this park was built with no DLC, no workshop items, you know, just all game, game stuff. It's crazy. Well, there's a lot of people in here, though. All right. So we're going to have to get us a bird's eye view and go around. There's a lot of people down there. All right, let's see what rides you got over here in the, the Quickie Park, man. All right, what ride is this here? This is like the bumper cars. 
or what they call them in London, the dodging. I think that's what they call them in London. I know that's what they call them in Alton Towers. I'm gonna just say that. All right, so we're gonna get over here. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Funny. Hookah lounge. Ha! <laughs> Hilarious. Hilarious. Hey, hold on. What do you say, man? Oh, man, I like how you get these shops up here. Blue cheese. See, I'm sorry. I don't like blue cheese, though. I'm sorry. Magic tree. Okay, that's a good name for... Okay. I like that. I ain't gonna lie, though. I like that right there. Hookah lounge. I like that. <laughs> All right, now we go go this way. I like how, I like how you got the different terrain in different areas. Man, you walk past, make you feel like you're in a whole different place. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Beer tent. Let's go. Uh, give me an IPA up out of there. You know what I mean? Oh, what? You can go in there? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Alcohol 12. What y'all putting in this coffee? All right, they got that outlaw coffee in there, boy. Let's go. All right, and again, what we got over here, though? This must be a restaurant for people standing outside. Yeah, it's a, whole, it's a restaurant. Yeah, a restaurant with a... Uh, that's one thing I noticed. Uh, it's a lot of names and words I can't pronounce in this park, so we're just going to do the tour, you know. As you've seen from the intro, the description. All right, we got the gopi right here. Okay, I like that, like that. And she happy about something. She happy about her green balloon. Like I said, you got trees, folders everywhere. All right, what's this over here though, man? We don't want to miss no rides now. We ain't trying to miss no coasters, especially not no coasters. Now we gonna come right on in and then miss something. Brutus. Brutus, okay. What is this? Let's go check this out. With the uh, pirate theming or the wood, you know what I'm saying? The wood planks. With that pirate theme. All right. So far, so good, man. I like this park, man. You know, to not have no DLC, you know, no uh, workshop items, man. It's impressive, man. It's impressive. All right, what we got here? What kind of coaster we got here? Look like we got us a Copperhead Strike. What's the name of this ride, though? Copperhead Strike 4. Green across the board. It's fine. Oh, come on now. See, what's, what's, what's the green across? Boy, I be hating that, boy. All right, let's get on down there. Check this thing out. Boy, it's $30. Wow. Well, they got a 7 excitement. Oh yeah, man, let's get on this thing. We finna get on this thing. No, no. We won't get on this one. Terre Dua on the go! We got custom sounds on here too? Hello, no scare.
Oh man, that ride was awesome, man. I got, you know, I, 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 well, I just got one thing. I think them excitement rating is off. I think that should be an eight. That ride was exciting, man. Whole time I had the mic off, man. I was up in here like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And how many of them see had about three launches in it? It was a spot right there up in here around one of these mountains, man, where you get smacked in the face by a tree. But I ain't even pay that no attention. This ride was so exciting, man. I can tell you, man, your layout of this roller coaster was tremendous. I, I tell you that. I loved that. Loved it. Right off the bat, you know, it's my favorite ride in the park. You know, we ain't even got on the other one that you see as soon as you come in the park. But, you know, it's my favorite ride right now. You know what I mean? So we're gonna go on here, go this way, make sure we ain't missing nothing over here though. Make sure we ain't gonna miss nothing over here. Ain't nothing but Damn, what's over here? You know what I'm saying? You got this park well laid out though. I can tell you that. We got a lot of folks here. Okay, this is the way we did come. We came this way, so we we going the right way. We can go back this way. We got the tiki court. I mean, I said the tiki court. We got the tiki spot right down in the little cut down there. That's cool. That's a nice little uh design there that's cool all right so this is where we was at right because this is where we was at all right uh i like how you got like the little carnival look like they selling stuff was from the side of the pathway what we got over here what we got over here got the fountain okay i like this castle with the windmill on it that's cool a cool touch uh what else we got over here that's crazy because i hardly ever see anybody use those the little the glass lanterns i bet they probably look nice at night the bathrooms right there okay all right all right let's go down here man it seems like everybody going this way man what's over here first of all how many rides we got in this park we got 11 rides up in here. And we saw the bumper cars and the, the merry-go-round when we first came in, and we just got off Copperhead Strike. So what we got over here? We got a ride over here? This is over here. What is this? Whatever it is, man, I'm going to be claustrophobic right there, though. I couldn't go through there. I'm too tall, man. I would have bumped my head, man. All right, what this is? Oh, this that ride? Okay, oh, okay, this the ride we uh see when we first come in. So we gonna get on that last, you know what I'm saying? We gonna get on that. We gonna say this ride for the last ride of the tour. Uh, So we gonna go see what other stuff we got up in here, man. Cause like I said, that Brutus roller coaster was, 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 was nice. I liked it that. All right, so we're going to go this way because it seems like he got paths going down into the caves, man. See, this is the stuff I was talking about, man. Like, I give a lot of credit to creators who can build like this, like all up under the ground like that. Because that takes a lot of patience because, like I said, on the frozen tundra, I did something like that with a mountain and put a path through the mountain. And I had the hardest time trying to put light in there and everything. But I got it done, though, but... It's a headache, so I could I give props to all creators who can build meticulously like that. And dang, man, look at this area over here, though. This is awesome, man. I love this. Crazy, man. It's like a little town. Oh, man. She must finna go home. She punched out. She excited. All right, we got the balloon shop over here, the pip shop. Man, see, these, these little stands be underrated to me, man. You don't hardly ever see nobody representing the pip shop, man. Don't nobody drink water, man? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? I have, I have a pip shop in my spot all the time. Gotta have that water. All right, so we're gonna go over here, man. Oh, yeah, this guy went crazy, man, with this park. I not had no DLC, no workshop items, man. Yeah, this is amazing. I like this. And this is the Quickie Park by Quickie Scope 78 YT on the Frontier Workshop. If anybody interested in this park, you know. All right, so we're gonna go 
Now we, we we went right when we came in and we came out and we ended up back right here. That's crazy. Cool. So now we're gonna go back again and go up the stairs. What that's supposed to be the piece of pin tower bill. Cool though. All right, let's go back through the castle again. Like I said, this park like a maze. Okay. A few moments later. I think we just gonna go straight. All these people over here, man. Let's see what's over here, man. They over here like they giving away something. So we over here. Alright. Okay, what this is? Oh, uh, go kart. Oh yeah, I love these. Let's see, let's take a bird's eye view of this. Let's take a bird's eye view of this. Uh, let's see how this thing go. Also, it just go through the castle. Oh, that's cool. I ain't gonna lie, I like this design, man. It, 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 uh, he said it's no DLC, so they got this on the game somewhere? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to, you know what? Duh. I just used this in one of my parks. No wonder this looked familiar. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So that's the go-karts right there. So we're gonna go down. Okay, we got more rides and stuff over here. So let's get back down here. Oh, man, they had to use the bathroom real bad. They was running. All right, here we go. I had a little lag session right there. I'm sorry, man. The little guys with the, the horse body things on, costumes, walking with the, the horses with two legs is just killing me. I'm sorry. That is just so funny to me. Yeah, all right, we got this ride over here, man. This ride look like some torture, man. What is this? Psychola 3. Yeah, that look like it got the right name. Hold on, let's, let's, let's get on this thing, though. Let's see what it look like, though. I don't think I ever put one of these in my, my park, though. It look crazy, man. Let me talk to y'all after this ride, though. Oh man, I can't ride nothing like that, and it just gave me a headache, man. Ooh -wee. yeah, it got the right name, Psychola 3. Yep, the right name for that ride, just like the last park had, uh, what it was for that ride? The Crazy Caterpillar. Man, alright, so we're gonna go on around this way. Yeah, I like how you use a lot of foliage in this park, man. That gives it a whole lot of depth to me. And my son making a whole lot of noise right now, man. Let me go see what that's all about. All right, sorry about that. All right, back to the tour. Let's keep it moving. All right. All right, now we come over here, man. It's starting to look a little tropical. You know what I mean? So what we got over here? Starting to look a little tropical. Piratey. Speaking of piratey. I gotta go get some fish food for my fish. They get some gourmet food this week. I'm gonna feed them some brine shrimp, some pellets. Mmm, they're gonna love it. Alright, so what we got this right here? What is this? Aluminia tea. I said Aluminia tea. Ah, Aluminia tea. I'm so funny. You gotta excuse me sometimes, man. I be butchering the names and words sometimes, man, because, you know, I don't know if people be having puns behind some of the stuff they be putting on here. Goods for sale. Okay. All right. Another restaurant here. Ooh. Or is that a hotel? It might be a restaurant. All right, check this out. Let's watch this. Let's see. Restaurant. Yeah. All right. Let's go over here. Seafood. Right in the shark's mouth. Hilarious. Um, 
And what we got over here? Oh, the swinging boat. I'm not a big fan of those in real life anymore, man. I, 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 I don't know why. I, don't, I guess it don't give me a thrill anymore. So we all phone it this way. I see a lot of people use this castle uh, off the, uh, the game. It is a beautiful uh, building. I like the how you, I got it decorated right here. Man, what this is though, you put another hotel or another restaurant right here? Oh, okay, that's a hotel. Okay, all right, I see you. I see you put a hotel in there, all right. And what this is over here? Look like a uh, train ride. It's a track ride. Iron Horse 6, huh? Where this thing at? Let's see what this thing, what this is. All right, we're going to do a little zoom around. See where this thing go. Because I don't know, we might have to, you know what, we might have to ride this thing. We just may have to ride this thing. It's like it go all through the, the through the uh, mountains and stuff too. So we're going to cut to the ride, man. But we're going to wait till one come around and we're going to get on. All right. We're on the Iron Horse 6, man. We're on the track ride. I normally don't get on the track ride. Oh, that last session going on here. What's going on here? like the views for the train out of the, of the castle. You can get to see the castle from the train here. Oh! My man, it just got a little bit aggressive. I don't think I've ever been on one of these uh, transport rides like this that ever uh, went down on the ground like this. So, okay, you got multiple stations and stuff. All right. Okay, I see. Okay, it's one of those. He got two stations in there, and I guess it goes back around. And it comes back around through there. Oh, okay. All right, cool, man. Because we don't want to have a hour-long spotlight, man. You know, where I didn't see. Look, see, this This is this is a drop tower. Line ain't long for it, because you probably got a crazy price on it. Uh, $15, man. That's ridiculous. But, uh, all right. Um... Okay, we can't go nowhere else this way. So we gotta go this way. So we're gonna go back this way. It was a roller coaster somewhere though. When you ride past on that train. Let's see. Let's find the rest of these rides up in here. I can't have the seafood and the boat, so. Hey man, we can go up because it was, it was another ride. Yeah, right there, I think. Yeah, it's over here. So we're going the right way. All right. Let's, oh, come on, man. Let's get back on this. But one thing, it's a lot of people in this park. I didn't even notice that when we walked past the first time. Skeleton in the cage up there. All right. Okay, this is how you get to that ride. Davy Jones. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, this is definitely a pirate theme area with a ride, Davy Jones. Ain't nobody getting on this though. They don't like this ride or something? What's up, man? Oh, that's cause it's closed, man. We finna, we finna, uh, we finna open it back up, man. Cause we want to get on this thing, man. Let's go. So it's a test run. Not green across the board, but it's all good.
That's not a bad ride, man. That was not a bad ride at all. You know, I'm usually not a fan of the boomerang rides, you know, but, you know, that one was okay. That was okay. All right, back to the tour, back to the tour. Um, I think we went right already. Went over that way already. Let's make sure, though. We don't want to double back again. Yeah, we came from that way, so we're going to go around this way. We've seen pretty much a lot of the flat rides over here in this area pretty much. I tell you, this seems like it's a family-oriented park, though. It's a lot of rides for families to get on and everything. Except for that thing, I don't know about that. You know, I don't know about that. Or this Ferris wheel right here. You know, I'm not a fan of that thing either. It's bad enough we're going up in there and then you want to rock me back and forth on, the, on, on some rails. All right. You know what I'm saying? So now we're going to go back around and try to find that roller coaster. Because I think we done pretty much seen a lot of the majority of the park over there with the flat rides and everything. So we're going back toward the front now. Which was over there by that roller coaster. Yeah, yep, yeah, because it was up here. And then we had to go back down over that way. Yeah, this park is anywhere from, from flat, I tell you that. I'm going to say, man, there's something over there. The bench is over there. And just to reiterate, this park was built with no DLC, no workshop items from other creators or any of that, you know, just all Plinko stuff. All right, so we need to find that roller coaster, man. You know, I'm getting to see, you know what I'm saying? This is a real park tour for real. You know, this is like a real amusement park for real. You're not in an amusement park if you don't get lost. Not and got lost. We're looking for that roller coaster again, so we're going to uh, make our way back around. We need us a park map so we know which way we're going, which way we done been. I don't think we went this way, though. Yeah, we did, because we went past that Ferris wheel that way. So it was this way then. We had to go back this way. Here we go. We're doubling back again. Now, like I say, this park is full of foliage and everything and, and paths and caves and everything man it's easy to get lost there with you man. all right here we go we finna find this coaster now because that's what we come here for to come and check out the coasters in the park and see the layout of the park which i like so far all the way i like it I'm considering there's no dlc in this park so now we gotta find that uh roller coaster again man it's weird i hear people screaming on it though you know so we're gonna go back this way. I think it was another path over here some way. But it was over here though. Man. That's the way we were just at. Yeah, we need a park map. We need an employee. We need to talk to a, we need to talk to an employee right now, somebody, a member of staff. I need directions. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to follow the path of people. That's what we're going to do. we we'll follow the path of people around here and see if we can find that coaster. I feel like a tourist, man. I don't know where I'm going. All right, but that's the beauty of a park tour, man. Getting lost in, in other people's parks and everything. So... We we'll make our way around this way this time. Back around through the that's a ride over there, so we're not going that way. We seen that, so we're gonna go back through the castles here. I think that ride is this way somewhere. Cause I said we're saving it for last, so we gotta go back up here. So we was through this way, but it was a, it was like a little. Halfway though. <laughs> There's something we missing somewhere, I'm telling you. I know it is. See? You see, right there. Uh, I know the path through here. 
Like I say, man, this is, you get lost in here, man, but we got a lot of shops and everything in here. I'm surprised it's not more crowded in here than it is. Hold on. Hold on, bro. Still vengeance. I ain't know they had this sign on here. I actually got the Steel Vengeance ride in my uh, Frontier Park. The real, the real replica of that ride. I'm definitely gonna go check on my my menu screen and uh, see if I got that sign too. Cause I could put that on my ride instead of the one I got. Hmm. Did that, man. Like I said, you always learn something on this game all the time. All right, what's up here, though, before we find the roller coaster? Just some more, what, bathrooms and shopping and areas and things like that? Fountains and stuff? All right, but we're going to go this way, man, because I think that ride is over here. Yep, here we go. Man, I walk, but uh, like I said, I got priority. So we're going this way. I tell you, everything in this park is in the cave, man. You really feel secluded in this place. You feel away from the world. So we're going to ride the final ride in this park, uh, this coaster, the, uh, the F-25-2. So we're going to go and get on this thing, man. Let me see what the stats is. Green across the board, another seven excitement. All right. Let's get on that thing. But we won't be on the front one, though. You know, my favorite seat on the C3. You know what I'm saying? So I'll talk to y'all when we get back. That's all I gotta say. Wow. I don't know which ride was better, man. This ride or the Brutus ride, man. Both of them was some awesome rides, man. But this one right here, it's like you go on an adventure on this ride right here, man. That's cool, man. I think we did good by saving that ride for last, man. That, that man. Well. You, know, you did a good job uh, laying this park out, uh, considering that you used all Planko uh, pieces and uh, everything that came with the game, man. You did an awesome job and showed a lot of your creativity in building this park without using any workshop items. Um, your sound effects were on point in the park. You had uh, ambient music and sounds all over the place. There's color in this park. Excitement and fun on your roller coasters, man. People everywhere, man. It seemed like a beautiful park, man. It seemed like a fun place to go. Um, somewhere that I would go if this was a real place. Um, but yeah, man, this was a, another park spotlight video from your man, Scott Boogie. Uh, this was the 
the crazy realistic park with no DLC created by Quickie Scope 78YT. You can check this park out on the Frontier Workshop. It's a PS4 park, so anybody can get it. So until next time, man, and until the next Park Spotlight video, it's been your man, Scott Boogie. I'll holla. Peace.